Hi all and welcome to this video financial modelling blog tutorial. Today we're going to look at mini perms in project finance. So what is a mini perm? Um, well in simple terms a mini perm is just a short term lending facility. Uh, there are two different types of mini perms. The first one is a soft mini perm and the second one is a hard mini perm. In a soft mini perm uh, you usually have mechanisms that incentivize the borrower to refinance. So for example, there could be a large margin increase post five years. In a hard mini perm, there is a default if the borrower doesn't refinance. So it's a short term facility with a bullet repayment at the end of say five years. If the borrower doesn't refinance, then there's a potential default. Okay. So in this tutorial, we're just going to look at the two types of mini perms. If we just go and change this rate chooser to one, and then we're going to just go down and have a look at these different types of mini perms. So as I said, in a hard mini perm, your actual margins are only there for a short tenor, so five years in this case. After that, there's no margins. There's a bullet repayment here and at which time the borrower has to refinance. Okay, often what sponsors or borrowers do is that they'll put in an assumed margin, whether it's in a, a bid case or um, a non-bid case, they'll put in an assumed, an assumed margin for the tenor of the debt. So for example, here we've assumed that post the short-term facility, we refinance out at 2.5%. Now, obviously, in this analysis, we haven't included any upfront fees with regards to the refinancing, um, swap, hedge, breakage, et cetera, et cetera. So we're keeping it really simple here. Okay, so in a hard mini perm, what does that look like? Okay, we've charted this here. So as you can see, the debt is only for five years. In blue, we've got the construction interest. Then we go into the amortization of the facility. Here we're using a credit foncier profile. Um, if you don't know about the credit foncier repayment profile, you can go to one of our blog tutorials. I think it's called CFADS and Debt Service Coverage Ratio Sculpting and the links in the blog. Um, so as you can see, we've got a credit foncier here. Now it mimics a 20 year amortization profile. However, it's only a short term, okay? So you can see that cutoff right here at the end of 2015. And you can see that the debt service coverage ratio is constant for that time. However, if we didn't refinance at this point in time, then the borrower would be in default. Okay, so that's the hard mini perm, the actual rates. <coughs> now let's look at the soft mini perm, okay? So down here, we've got the soft mini perm. Now the actual margins used are 2.5% for five years, and then it ratchets up to 5%. So it heavily incentivizes the borrower to refinance after that initial five year period. Um, otherwise, there's a lot less cash flow going to equity. Okay, and presumably the borrower would be able to refinance it at a rate lower than that rate. Okay, so the soft mini perm looks something like this. So if we were using the actual rates, now, as you can see, the debt service coverage ratio is really high for these five years um, or the, the period of, of operation um, up to the end of 2015. And then after that, as the margins ratchet up here, we get a debt service coverage ratio dropping or our debt service coverage ratio dropping. So what does this mean? This means that the equity distributions going to shareholders in the form of shareholder loan interest, amortization, or equity is dropping. So there's less coverage. Okay, 
so now let's look at what sponsors and borrowers actually put in. So here we're just going to flip to what sponsors usually put in in terms of assumed rates. So as we said with the hard mini perm, often sponsors will assume a rate post the tenor of that hard mini perm or usually five to seven years. Okay, so here we're assuming two and a half percent. And as you can see, the hard mini perms amortized over 20 years using credit foncier, the debt service coverage ratio stays constant. Um, with the soft mini perm, on the other hand, here the margins assume. Now we're assuming exactly the same margins as the hard mini perm. So let's go have a look at the soft mini perm and it is exactly the same. The point we're trying to get at here is that whilst soft mini perms and hard mini perms have different legality points um, and mechanisms, often what can happen is a borrower can assume a similar uh, debt service schedule um, and margins in both cases. So you can get the same repayment profile. Now there are a number of problems with mini perms and a lot of the banks do push for mini perms because they get arrangement fees on a short term facility which they can amortize over a shorter period and then get another arrangement fee post that if they're part of the next bank club. So banks are heavily incentivized to do this structure if, if they're able to leverage uh, their competitive position. So if, if there's not many lenders in a particular market, then they might be able to push for a structure like this. Otherwise, if long-term lending is abundant in that market, then they're probably not going to get a, a, uh, a structure like this. Okay, now there are a number of problems with mini perms. Um, one of the major ones, and we talk about a few in the blog, but one of the major ones is the um, hedging of a mini perm. Do you hedge short term? Do you hedge long term? If you hedge long, time, uh, long term, the repayment profile might change over time. So the hedge might be in or out of the money by a large quantity, et cetera, et cetera. So that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please sign up to our newsletter. We have a lot of great stuff coming through there or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.